both important parts of the South African economy, of course, and I must say, whenever I walk around Cape Town and I walk into uh, the waterfront, uh, I hear three or four different languages. It's English and Afrikaans, obviously, but there's also, there's German and there's French and everything else, which is a very good sign. And I think, personally, that we are building on the legacy of 2010, the World Cup, which um, was a huge success. In the Joburg studio now is Salifu Sidhu, who's the chief executive of the Tourism Enterprise Partnership. Uh, Salifu, thanks very much for joining us this lunchtime. How are we doing at the moment? Uh, we are doing very well uh, in the sense that uh, the National Department of Tourism has uh, released uh, the first quarter arrival figures and uh, by all indication uh, the country seems to be attracting its fair share of uh, the global tourism flow. Our numbers went up uh, um, quarter on quarter by over 10 percent. That's very good. I mean, is there any changes now between the type of person that was coming here uh, pre-2010 and now uh, post-2010? There's all sorts of uh, stories about, for example, a hundred new airports being built in China over the next five years or so, Salifu, and therefore that in, uh, sort of implies that people from that part of the world will be travelling uh, more. Are we starting to see a shift in the percentage of uh, visitors from certain countries in favour of, for example, uh, Chinese tourists? Uh, w well, the growth that was uh, reported in terms of arrival numbers actually was across all uh, regions that uh, South African tourism uh, tracks. Uh, and uh, there's definitely uh, significant growth coming out of uh, emerging countries uh, such as uh, Brazil, for instance, just to, to, to name one. And uh, I'm sure South African tourism uh, and uh, the National Department of uh, Tourism would be very happy with uh, those, uh, those numbers. Uh, when it comes to the Tourism Enterprise Partnership, though, what uh, we need to really uh, focus on is uh, how do we go about making sure that uh, our tourism SMEs also get their fair share of uh, uh, those numbers uh, of, uh, tourism that, uh, of tourists that are coming into the country? And essentially, how do you go about creating inclusive growth? Exactly, and that's what the, the TEP is all about. How do you help small and medium enterprises? Because I know it's so important that, uh, for, I think there's some statistic that for every single person that comes to South Africa as, as a tourist, for whatever it is, two weeks and spends their euros or their yen or whatever it is, a certain amount of jobs are created. And you must obviously leverage off, off that. How do you do it? Yes, uh, indeed. In fact, it's the other way around. Uh, uh, given a certain number of tourists uh, that uh, come to South Africa, a part, uh, one, one job is created. There's a, there's a particular mm. statistic that uh, the UNWTO, the United Nations uh, World Tourism Organization, uh, publishes, and that's, uh, that's the basis. The way we essentially participate in uh, assisting tourism SMEs to grow and develop is through a certain uh, interventions uh, that we, we implement by way of uh, training, uh, uh, providing uh, mentorship, as well as uh, providing financial assistance for them to take care of uh, some marketing activities. Yeah, you've, uh, it says here in your press release that you've assisted 3,000 enterprises, including training of over 3,500 uh, individuals. How important is it for the bigger companies uh, to do their job, but at the same time the SMEs? I mean, the person that, for example, sets up, uh, buys a couple of vehicles and gets to the airport and provides tours on a safe basis. Because, you know, when we see this... As we've reported on earlier on in the show, the, the, the violence in South Africa, people are worried about safety when they come to South Africa. How important is it for the SME to boost the tourism industry in this country? Uh, you see, the one, one of uh, the um, critical uh, issues that uh, we are trying to address as Tourism Enterprise Partnership is to take the perceived risk inherent in uh, doing business with uh, small businesses. We are saying that uh, uh, as a result of what we do, as a result of uh, the training that we provide, we are able to uh, raise these tourism SMEs to the quality level that uh, an international visitor or a, national, uh, um, a domestic tourist, for instance, would, uh, would expect. And uh, by doing so, we are uh, de-risking, uh, literally, uh, the, the business and making it uh, uh, in such a way that uh, it meets the expectations of, uh, of, of the visitor. Are we just, uh, very finally, uh, Silifu, are we, 
Are we a high quality tourism destination? Are we, uh, are, are we justifying? I mean, I'm just behind me over my right shoulder now, I can see Table Mountain. It's beautiful, but it's nothing to do with us. It was given to us. But are we uh, doing it justif justice, if you like? Uh, we do have a beautiful tourism plant. Uh, we have uh, a diverse base of uh, tourism products. We have attractions uh, that can compete with the best in the world. And our tourism industry has uh, really the, the, the product uh, base to, to, to work from. Uh, we do uh, need to continue working on our service levels. Uh, these are uh, issues that uh, the entire tourism industry is aware of and uh, tremendous efforts are being put uh, into making sure that uh, we deliver uh, services at the expectation of uh, uh, the, the customer and uh, we are starting to see results uh, in, in, in that area. Uh, we have uh, um, basically products that uh, match the, uh, the best international benchmarks and we also have the service levels uh, to, to, uh, to basically support those products. So it is work in progress and uh, uh, we need to accept the fact that uh, service provision is not a once-off event. Uh, it is a continuous process and it needs management and I think uh, we are uh, doing that when it comes to our uh, tourism SMEs and one of the services that uh, we provide essentially is mentoring uh, to show them uh, how to go about making sure that uh, they provide the services uh, as per the expectation of customers because uh, if you provide services that the customer expects, uh, they will tend to come back and give you repeat business.